Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Amit and I hope you all are doing great. Today in this video we will discuss an Android interview questions and this video is a part of the series Android interview questions and answers and you can find the playlist link in the description below. So the question is tell me about the init block in Kotlin. A very good question in Kotlin. There can be so many things which can be asked around this init block in Kotlin and we will discuss all of them in this video today. So now it's time to discuss the answer and before jumping into the init block we should know about the primary and the secondary constructors in Kotlin. I will provide a very short introduction to them as these are not the focus of this video. So let's see an example of primary constructor. So here we have a mentor class with a primary constructor and here we have a mentor class with primary and secondary constructor both here you can see this is the secondary constructor we can notice that during the initialization of an instance we cannot write any code to do anything in the primary constructor but we can write the code to do something inside the secondary constructor so we can say that the primary constructor cannot contain any code but secondary constructor can. So this is the first major difference. The primary constructor cannot contain any code but the secondary constructor can. Now here comes the init block into the picture. The two things we can use to put some code to do something during the initialization of an instance are as follows. First init block, second the secondary constructor. As we have just seen that the secondary constructor can be used to put some code inside that. The init block and the secondary constructor can contain any code. Now let's learn about the init block in Kotlin. Suppose we have a mentor class with the primary constructor and an init block like this. Here we can notice that we are able to write code inside the init block to do something during the initialization. So the next question is when does the init block get called in Kotlin? The answer is the init block gets called immediately after the primary constructor but before the secondary constructor immediately after the primary constructor but before the secondary constructor very important so there are a couple of things we should know while using the init block in kotlin the init block gets executed immediately after the primary constructor second point is the init block gets executed before the secondary constructor primary constructor parameters can be used in the initializer blocks a class can have more than one init block. In this case, the initializer blocks are executed in the same order as they appear in the class body considering the properties if there are any in between. So we will see this by an example then you will understand it more. It does not take any parameter. So init block cannot have any parameter that we can see in the example. So this is the example. Here we have the mentor. We are passing first name and the last name then we have the init first block. So then we have a property full name and then again a init block. So then again a constructor that is the secondary constructor. If we try to call mentor Amit Shekhar technology like this. So we will get the following output. First init block Amit full name property second init block 12 secondary constructor technology. So here you can see the order in which they are getting called. So now we know the order in which the primary, the init block and the properties and the secondary constructor get called. So now the next question is when to use init block in Kotlin? The answer is when we have to perform a task during the initialization of an object and we do not have a necessity of a secondary constructor. Use the primary constructor with the init block. Suppose for example in our Kotlin Android project we can use the init block in view model like this. So here we have the new list view model in which we get the repository from the primary constructor and then we have the init block. From the init block we call the fetch news which is a private function. So this is how we can use init block in our Kotlin Android project. So now we know everything about the init block in Kotlin. That's it for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to create more videos on any specific topic, let me know in the comment section. I will be very happy to do it. Have a great learning ahead. See you in the next video.